Okay, I'm going to get the other camera set up and look a little more situated. It's not perfectly situated by any means. I want to go like this. I need to just put some marks on the crown so I know exactly where to put the, everything. All right, and we'll see what the other camera up here. Come on. And drop that one just a tad. Oh. The other camera. Oh, it's warm today for first time. Gosh, oh, it feels good. Okay, here I am. Another one. So a Facebook link. Paste. Oh. Back to the other one. <laughs> Gosh, I tell you. Give me a second. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. Got that one going. Okay, good. Now back to me. Back to me. And out to Doak. Here I am. Here I am. Oh, come on. Okay. okay. And we're going to zero right into that. We got our boat plane here. Glass. And here we are. Whew. Hey, Larry. Hello, how are you doing? And one more paper. I'm going to do this one. Gosh, I thought I'd shoot the second. Copy this one. Oh, come on. You can see what an amateur I am on when it comes to all this. <laughs> oh, dear goodness. I need to have a whiz bang person that really knows what they're doing. It probably is. There's some new features on Facebook that I really do not care for, but we won't go into that that too hard. <coughs> and we're on. Okay, good. We got it. Okay, doke. <laughs> Got it. All right, let's do this. Boy, nice warm day here. Our first 80 degree plus day. Just was awesome. Okay. 
Oh, oops, I need one more light going here. Uh, I got a fair amount of light coming through the uh, window, which is also nice. I like it when it starts becoming, uh, yeah, absolutely, you couldn't get better today. All right, so let's just get going on this thing. I really don't need a reference anymore, I don't think. So, yep. <clears throat> Oh, I need to add uh, Mars, Mars, black here. So let's get that in there. Hello, camera. How are you doing? Hello. <laughs> Hello, Merrick. Merrick's over here on Facebook. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, one of these days, I'll have this all, all figured out. At that point, that's when I die. I'll get hit by a meteorite. You watch. That meteorite will plunge through the clouds. It'll actually swerve around buildings, swerve around everything else, and they just plow me into the ground. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so let's get going on this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I do need to look at that real quick. I just want to kind of, yeah. That's why I don't want to, like I said, this is kind of a made up, I mean, it based off of a, planes and stuff like that, but it's also kind of made up too, just like my uh, Zeppelin was. And to a lesser degree, the uh, um, Dreadnought, but they're all kind of like the same style, you know. I think this is actually going to be a jet powered uh, uh, boat plane. I saw a concept that uh, no, what's that? No for. But I saw a concept that Boeing was talking about, well, this is years ago, where they had a jet-powered uh, boat plane. I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> At least I'd make the news. Artists get struck by a meter meteorite, and also my artwork would go up through the roof in price. I said that's the that's the guy that got struck by a meteorite. Yeah, it's amazing. They weren't even sure if it was a meteorite. They think it might have been launched by uh, uh, the, the mothership or something. You never know. <laughs> It's Larry. <laughs> My jewel, jewel ones go in here. <laughs> mm 
the mothership. <laughs> Adventures of the Mothership. See it now. You know, this was on the. Uh, so I, I don't. I'm not liking this thing. I, I I know it was some of those old old uh, boat planes had something like that. I just don't like it. So I'm going to get rid of it. Yep. It, it draws my eye away from the uh, plane itself. So we're going to just. It, we're going to say that it got too close to a tree and it snapped off. What do you think? You know, yeah. Oh. That's gone. But yeah, that's much better. I already go liking it better. Oh, oh, couldn't help myself, got excited. <laughs> My neighbors make me look bad, they're working in their yard. Now they're two young guys, so they could, they could do it. I haven't very much. I have new neighbors. I haven't. Next time I see them outside, and I'm outside, I'll introduce myself. I'm Count Leopold von Schwarzwisky. <laughs> <Wow. sighs> <coughs> yeah, that's much better. I'm liking that much. <laughs> a little bit of brown, blue, and just a smidgen of black. I got Pink Floyd ones for you to watch out. <laughs> oh, it's just so nice having warm weather today. First degree, they said the first degree uh, temperature we faced uh, October 16th. It has been a cold winter this year for us. Let go. And we're back to it's kind of cold weather now. Week, but this recharging the batteries a little bit here. I'm not, I'm not complaining too much. I don't know, but oh, excuse me. Got a lot of plants to plant. I've been so behind. My tools are finally starting to bloom. They've got to be almost a month behind. Almost a month. Thank you, thank you. Whoa, <laughs> it's 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 a based off of a boat planes, as you know. I forget all the uh, names for them, but I'm also uh, it's kind of almost it's also fantasy to a certain extent. That'd be fun. Yeah. Long oh. All right. And thank you for that. Oh, Ian, how are you doing? Welcome to us. Hello, Diane. I think we write the right card again. We got out of prison. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. 
I made a few calls for you. I want you to know that you owe me. Yeah. Oh, now I got All right, let's get this. Trump, I don't Dipped it in my wine. Ah, I've not been good. I've been known to have to drink it down anyway. What the heck? All right. Yeah, I know, Mary. I want you to talk on. Yeah, <laughs> Yep, making sure. Yep. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what we're going to do a little more work. I'm going to have windows and stuff like that here. But I'm just kind of working this area out here. Start cleaning up the lines and stuff. But yeah. yeah. It's having a good feel to it. It's kind of like, I don't know. I have to come up with a new name for this style retro. Retro fantasy or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Bend this down just a tad, just a tad. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot, what did I just do? Uh oh, I know what I did. Hold on. Oh, now you're looking at me. <laughs> oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. I'm going to turn that around. Ah, I don't know. We lost our Facebook here. Hold on. We look in a rocket ship too. I'm trying to figure this out. 
I get to do that. I just simply was going to zero. In. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What do we got here? Oh, my goodness. I must have hit that little camera. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. And you didn't hear the F bomb. Oh, that's a good thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm 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 the camera guy, you can tell. Excuse me. And I won't have a bird being sucked into the intakes. That's probably not a good thing. <laughs> I may have said with two people. <laughs> Clouds in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Mavis! We got Mavis over here on Facebook. Oh, 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 oh. Mavis. Mavis. Wow. Man, I'm in voice today. I want to add just a smidgen, smidgen, and I mean smidgen, uh, magenta, magenta, magenta. Oh. <laughs> Magenta is extremely strong. Uh, uh, camera that says, hello, Mavis. So <laughs> we have a, 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 a group chat uh, area. I don't know. I, I, I might have to look into a lot of this stuff. But I was trying to come up with something, but then I wanted to be able to access so much. And I thought, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't help myself, got excited. Da -da -da -da. Da -da there is there is the mixing magenta, Van Dyke Brown, got uh, uh, yellow ochre and white. Titanium white, that is. Mm -hmm. -da. -da -da -da. -da -da -da. -da -da. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 
Close. I can start bringing out the flying boat here. I don't know if I had uh, such amazing amount of money to the point where they're actually having to uh, have barges sit off the coast to store it. I think uh, any kind of cool for a yacht, guys, have a uh, jet <laughs> yeah, powered, of course. Uh oh. Ah, where are you from, uh, uh, camera? All right, take care. Mm -hmm. They might not be joining us too. We're a little crazy group here. Have a great rest of your day, and thank you for joining us. Okay. 
in here with a small brush. Actually, I might get a small brush out of my drawer over here. Hey, David! Like I said, this is not going to be totally historically accurate because it's a main boat that they had a for flying boats, but uh, like the grand and the inception that I made. Exactly accurate. And I'm not too worried about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I might right smack in the way. Nope. Looks like I'm doing all right. Thanks for joining us, David. I haven't seen you on here in a while. You're producing some really beautiful artwork. I want you to know that. Just over here, so you can see here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you. This one's been a fun one to paint, hey? Yeah. We have a series of these, of this kind of style. I don't know, I gotta come up with a name for this, you know, retro, retro fantasy or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Side of the sun's kind of coming this direction, so we're going to bring that <coughs> shadow like so. Then it goes to have this little flare that comes out here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
It's all the same. There. David, I want you to know that. Spotted my falcon, my neighborhood falcon, went flying right by my window. It's home doors. <laughs> it cats inside. <laughs> I haven't heard it going after any anybody's pet. So I call it Maud. Maud the Falcon. Maud, <laughs> uh, you don't mess with. I saw a bald eagle in the neighborhood, too. I was like, whoa. <laughs> saw that a couple of weeks ago. I saw it for a walk, and I said, that's a bald eagle. <laughs> looking for what car he was going to pick up and take home. <laughs> mm -hmm. And a little Nino here. I think we might be able to be done with this the next episode. And I don't think quite today. So we don't quite have enough time. I don't want to rush this. So, and I am not going to be on this Saturday. I got things going on. I'll see you about Sunday. No, I no nope, nope. Um no I don't actually to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fun. Uh, I think these old boat planes were just amazing, but we've kind of modernized it. So we've got jet engines on it. <laughs> like I said, I, I remember seeing a concept plane by Boeing, and I thought it was actually quite cool. It's a uh, idea. It was a jet-powered boat plane.
Ya. Always a figure that would probably a rough landing on the surface of the water. Bad enough when you're landing on a runway that's all smooth. <laughs> Especially if you've got some big crosswinds going. Mm -hmm. Here. here. The items are forever. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, yeah. Like I said, I'm kind of doing a little science fiction on this one. And get into the set, but you can always tell, I mean, we have an air show outside of a really close to this Hillsboro. Hillsboro has an annual air show at an airport there. And you can always recognize immediately the World War II aircraft going in. You don't even have to look up. They can know, you know, it's a World War II aircraft. Let's start working on this here. Man, I think I'm going to get my handy dandy uh, sponge here. Oh, yeah. I got to ride in a Black Hawk helicopter when I was in the military. And it was, that, that thing had an interesting sound to it, all too, you know. But I always tell you one thing, before you got on, before you got on, they were checking to make sure you had your dog tag on. And I asked, I made it was worth the best and then whatever. Checking, he says, that way we could identify if we crash. It's like going, you know, I could have gone my entire life without doing that one. <laughs> They're very loud. And have ear earplugs in. That was fascinating because uh, in Germany we got to go over. Lo you know, helicopter flies low, so it, uh, it showed me all these all, uh, all these um, cool castles. I like, really enjoyed that. Right. <laughs> it's like. Yeah, <laughs> big piston engines. Actually, there was a, so there was showing a, a, the lowering engines in a, it was a, actually a measurement and a Mercedes engines on it. And they said, you know, it was an incredible amount of horsepower for an engine. That's a piston. I think it was, I forget how many horsepower, but it was, it was it, yeah, yeah, <laughs> impressive looking engine. Let's just put it that way. No, it's a bond. I expect you to die. <laughs> I have no idea what that's going to my head. <laughs> oh, I know. And you know, you really think about it, in World War II, airplanes haven't been around that long. You know, uh, you know, the Wright brothers in 1905, you know, and then you had World War I, and then after that, it was about and, uh, technology. And then 
1907, which was a revolution in uh, commercial aircraft, that wasn't that long after World War II. It came out, I think, in 1958 or 59. You know, you think about World War II, and it in 1945. Is that really that long? And I always, yeah, it's amazing how much technology gets going. It's just amazing sometimes. It's scary at times. <laughs> this whole AI stuff. Yeah. I'm waiting to come across some AI painting or something like that. And I, can, I can identify some of my own stuff. <laughs> Old everything. Who knows? You know, I'm not a big conspiracy guy, so yeah. Oh, that would have been cool. Gosh, yeah, I worked on the triple seven. Uh, yeah, now then that I, I. Left Boeing in 1999, and uh, so yeah, yeah, the triple seven. That was a cool aircraft. I'll tell you what, you walk by those names, holy crap, holy! I mean, you, you can actually uh, an entire semi truck uh, fit easily in the thing. It was just it, it was huge. Bothering me here. I can see I need to change this. I always say step back from your painting, otherwise, uh, you will not see these things. So, we're actually going to put an artistic license here because otherwise, you're going to think it's attached to the wing and it's not. Taller. Mm -hmm. And a little bit black. And the reason for that, you know, I, sometimes if you're not careful, it'll look like something's attached, you know, and, and that's what you didn't want. Oh, I have 15, so okay, yeah. Oh, I know. I, I, well, sometimes, you know, when you're in the plane and it sits there on the runway and it starts revving up, you're just like, here we go. You know? Wow, that hour has gone by fast. In the time here, I try to stick within an hour. I just warmed up that uh, white with a little bit of yellow ochre.
Oh dear, that's scary. That's what I always worry about when people start getting replaced, you know, and it's like, oh man, you know, I hope, hope everything works out for you. Diamonds up there. Oh. Okay, a uh, couple more minutes and we got it. Not, we're not finishing it. I'll finish it the next session. This, this whole plane will get finished next session. For sure. And I'm not sure what the next, it's either going to be Sunday or it's going to be, um, um, or it's going to be Monday and then we'll finish that one up. And then start a new one, of course. You know. <laughs> Diamonds are forever. Okay. Holy crap, oh, is that hour went by just way too fast. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah. Oh, no. All righty. Thank you, Madonna. Oh, thanks, Rob. Thank you for joining us. I think this should be a mafia boat plane, and we should have like a door open where they're throwing uh, people off with cement shoes on. What do you think? Just an idea. <laughs> All right. Seriously, thank you so much for joining me. My goodness, that hour went by ridiculously fast. Yeah. So we'll get this one. We'll, then we'll get this one uh, done in the next session. Um, uh, I think Sunday, you know, Saturday's totally out. Uh, Sunday is a good possibility. And then uh, if not, we'll definitely finish on Monday at 7, uh, 7 p.m. So seriously, take care, stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you again for joining me. Uh, we got our boat plane. <laughs> All right. Take care. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>